Using the tools and steps outlined in the operator's manual, you can easily install the control head for your Humminbird side imaging unit. For craft with a large flat surface, a basic gimbal mount is ideal. Be sure the mount has enough room for the control head and the cables which will plug in behind the unit to move freely. You can also rotate the bracket to the top of the unit for overhead mounting. Many boats have space in the console for in-dash mounting of units for easy viewing while operating the boat. Another common mount is a flexible mount located near the cockpit. This allows larger units to be mounted close to the console while providing options for orientation and positioning. Please refer to your operator's manual for more detail and complete head unit installation instructions. Installing a side imaging transducer on your boat is not difficult, but there's certain things you have to keep in mind. One thing to keep in mind is that side imaging achieves this incredible performance by shooting beams out to both sides of the transducer as well as a down-looking beam shooting straight down from the boat. Because of this, you have to make sure that this entire area both to the side as well as up under the boat and all the way to the other side is clear of obstructions. The type of obstructions you'll face depends on the actual rigging of the boat. Certain boats are rigged with jack plates as this boat is, and that makes the installation process much easier because the jack plate moves the motor mount further away from the boat and provides an area up under the uh, jack plate where you can install the transducer. If a boat does not have a jack plate, you have to be concerned that the trans side imaging transducer is below the motor mount, and that way you get a clear shot to the opposite side. For boats that where uh, installation on the transom just isn't feasible, we also have a through hull transducer where you can mount it as well. You can mount the transducer one of two ways, here on the boat's transom or on the trolling motor. We'll cover mounting to the boat's transom. Mark the three mounting holes on the transom using a marking pen or by partially drilling the holes as shown using a 532nd inch drill bit. You can then double check the fit of the mounting bracket. Then drill the holes to a depth of approximately one inch. Fill each of the three mounting holes with marine grade silicone. Here we're using clear silicone. Align your mounting bracket with the holes, then insert and tighten the three screws provided so the mount will hold the transducer assembly about one eighth to one quarter inch below the bottom of the transom. Now you will need your transducer and pivot from the box. This is the transducer, and this is the pivot it attaches to. Attach the transducer to the pivot using the supplied bolts and Allen wrench. Once you've completed your transducer pivot assembly, mount it to the bracket on the transom, inserting the bolt in the top holes from right to left. The transducer mount features a kick-up mechanism, so a small amount of movement is normal. You've now completed the installation and are ready to conduct a field test. In addition to transom mount and jack plate installations of side imaging, there's also a through hull side imaging transducer, which is perfect for saltwater boats or Great Lake boats in different situations where transom mount applications just aren't feasible. Certain smaller boats also have a flat area in the back that has a clear path to both sides, and you simply drill that one and one eighth inch hole and then install the transducer shaft through that hole, and it provides for a nice, clean installation.